Good morning, Skidaway. It is such a blessing to be here with you this week. I am here on the mission field with our amazing youth. They are working so extremely hard and I am incredibly proud of them. This week, they have toiled in the sun, they have carried heavy lifting, they have breathed their hardest all for the glory of God. Now, this week, Rob is going to be bringing us a message about King David, and that message is one of King David's heart. I would also like to take a moment and just thank you for helping me encourage our youth to have hearts of King, to reflect the heart of God, and that is to serve them. If you can see behind me the trailer right here, our kids right now are painting on a second coat of just completely transforming this trailer, transforming the lives of the people that live in this community. Today, I want to focus in on what God is showing and teaching our youth. This week, God has shown me that on mission trips, when you're doing work, you're being a servant for other people who can't do it themselves, and that it's important to do this because other people are a lot less privileged. And... Favorite part of this week was probably cleaning out this old storage room in that church. It was just really satisfying to see all that stuff from all those years get thrown out and cleaned and organized. And there's some wood filler that I found that's it's over eight years old. One of the things that I learned this week during chapel, they were talking about Noah's Ark. And it took him over a hundred years to build it. And I Honestly, you didn't think it would take that long. It would take like well, 10 years or so. Kind of are, still and um, I guess it's kind of reasonable because all the animals that had to be packed in there. My favorite part of the trip so far is when we would go to the trailer park, paint the people, paint the houses for the people, and see the smiles on their faces is after we're done. I'm having the best time this week. Um, we're painting trailers, which is a lot of fun. I think I'm getting to be a better painter. But the best part to me is meeting the people. Um, the families here are just wonderful that live in these trailers, and it's been fun getting to know them and getting to know our youth better. We have we have outstanding youth that are working hard this week, and they meet uh, without complaint, and it's just it just makes me so proud. And um, and on top of that, um, today they're going to throw us a lunch, and I met these two little girls from one of the families that baked brownies for us last night, and they were so excited. So it's just an exciting week here. I'm just so grateful to be here. God, you can feel God's presence all around. One of the things I love about mission trips, and I've been on a lot of them, is you, you get a chance to work with youth that you may not have worked with before. And you get a chance to help them get out of their comfort zone. And getting out of their comfort zone is not just about whether or not they can climb a ladder, whether or not they can finally learn how to paint or how to use a saw. But it's also many youth are very hesitant about their relationship with the Lord and they don't fully understand it. And it's great to have a chance to, to bring them together and help them to learn from other youth. As you can see, we survived our day and we've made it back to our base camp. I am surrounded by youth right now who have dedicated their week to getting a heart closer to the Kings. I can't tell you how proud I am to be part of Skidaway United Methodist Church where we put such a big emphasis on missions. Have a blessed day, Skidaway. We'll see you next week.